Hi everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you um, my process of setting up a photo card binder, um, etc. and or the, um, the products that I use or the items that I use to create my photo card collection. So we're gonna get started. Um, so I have multiple things in front of me as you can see in we have an open Dragon Shield box on brand for me. Um, <laughs> gonna move the, the everything out of the way and kind of get into everything here. So you may be wondering, Olivia, what binder is this? This is my, um, what I coined as my sleeve binder. Totally didn't get this idea on my own. I got it from Carolyn over at One Aid. Um, she has one and I figured, you know, it makes sense because I had an extra one of these lying around. So I'm going to go through it kind of like with all the different sleeves that I use because there are a lot. And this binder basically fills up like all the time. <laughs> we also have Mingy trying to get in. So you might see like dog hair and everything. I'm trying to get dog hair out of everything, but whatever. So this is the first type of sleeve in the binder. They pull one out. It is a single pocket page or screen, a page protector um, is what they used to be called back in the day. Um, so this is for my standard, you know, I items that don't fit in a two pocket um, or it's for the divider pages that I have. So where I just put a white piece of paper in to divide the groups in my binders. It's not necessary, but I prefer the look of it. I also have a crap ton of these. Um, I used to work at a um, wholesale place and we had a whole bunch of these and I bought like a 200 box and still working through them. <laughs> so um, this is like the first type of sleeve that I use. Next, we can move on to two pockets, and there are two varying sizes. I don't know if I have the other size in here, but so this is the BCW brand. They are like a standard for um, two pockets. You can either get Ultra Pro or BCW or some other brand that you prefer. Um, I just keep these in here. I have both Ultra Pro and BCW in here. Um, excuse all that dog hair if you can see that. Okay, so these are the larger two pockets. I think I got them from like Andy Jack or something. Um, they are like a British or European um, site that has like larger sized um, pocket item items, I guess. So they do two pockets, one pockets, all that fun stuff. Next, we're going to get into the sizes of three pockets. So there's ones that go like this where you can fit something like this inside sneak peek at um a sorting photo cards video later um <laughs> and so you can put anything ranging from like big tickets or um like big bookmarks in there um and i only just got these not too long ago so i only just started using them but they are great um and i have a crap ton of them so <laughs> Next we can go into our standard three pocket size. So they fit um, anything between postcards, um, smaller bookmarks, stuff like that. Um, I tend to get the Ultra Pro, but there is BCW and there is a size difference between them. Um, one is slightly bigger than the other, which I've discovered. And sometimes it doesn't work with certain things, certain items. Well, one will work with certain items and the other won't. It's weird. I don't know. Don't ask me. I am not these creators. But I think I only have BCW or uh, Ultra Pro in here right now. And then there's four pockets, um, which again, Ultra Pro and BCW make. And they might be like varying sizes. I used to make um, like little f white fillers for these, but I gave up because I never really knew the exact um, dimensions until recently. So maybe I'll start printing them. Um, but these are for things that are like smaller postcards or um, those odd items that just don't fit in a nine pocket sleeve or a three, like regular three pocket. So there's that. Next item on the agenda is a six pocket. You can't really tell, so I'm going to take this out. So a six pocket page is the holder for bookmarks basically if they are standard size bookmarks um i tend to use them if i have to um for certain things like for example going back to this um purple kiss thing it like just fits so like something the size of this would definitely fit in those 
Next we can move on to eight pockets. I put them in like size order because it made more sense. Um, so I have two different sizes of eight pockets in here. Regu regular BCW brand. Um, you can you can put a photo card in there, but it's a little small. Um, this is for like concert photo cards or like stuff that like BTS does, you know what I mean? Um, and then I bought these as well. These are slightly bigger. They're just for like bigger things. Oh, and these are in upside down, but it's okay. And then after that, normally would be my nine pockets. I just got nine pockets in the mail. So let me get those. Okay. So this is my brand new box of Ultra Pro nine pocket pages. I get the platinum series because I've, I've heard that the other series is not as good and it's not as strong. So um, if we open this, they're nice and clean, um, but they're your standard nine pockets. I tend to be really rough with these guys and sometimes they break, um, but that's just me being really rough with them sometimes. Um, but this is what you would normally put your photo cards in um, with, this, with the standard um, dimensions and stuff. And then lastly, we have uh, my 10 pocket pages. Again, I think these are from like Andy Jack or something. So these are for like the smaller things that could fit in a 10 pocket. I also do have from Andy Jack these um, like A4 or A5 now, A4 size, like, large pocket sleeves. I use them for mainly my stay in London postcards, but um, I don't have them in here because I don't think I have any more, <laughs> actually. Um, so now we're going to go into, like, what I use to sleeve my cards. Okay, I had to zoom in here for a little bit because these boxes are tiny. Um, <laughs> so I use mainly Dragon Shield to sleeve my cards. I use the regular clear classic. Um, I don't like the idea of matte sleeves. I don't know, it just, I feel like I notice and then I just don't like it. Um, so here's an example of a card in the clear sleeves. They're glossy on both sides, so you can see both sides clearly. I did attempt to try matte um, whew, words. <laughs> I did attempt to try, um, card sleeves with matte backs, but it just didn't work for me, so I sent them back because they just weren't my speed. Um, so here is the white sleeves that I use for my, um, photo cards. So I did find that I have a lot more Ultra Pro ones, um, than I think. I used to use Ultra Pro a lot. And then I started buying Dragon Shield, so I have a combination of Ultra Pro and Dragon Shield in this box. Next, we have my purple sleeves. These are matte, but you'll see that um, the fronts aren't. Um, they're more glossy. And then the backs are slightly matte. Um, I only use these for, like, fillers um, anyway, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, well, it makes sense for me to keep them. So, um... Yeah, so these are like the main uh, ones that I use personally for my collections. Um, there are an exception to like other collections that I would use. So um, these are made A sleeves. These are the sleeves that fit the A5 binder that I have, which I'm like slowly like trying to not use anymore. <laughs> but um, this also has dog hair on it. <laughs> um, but these fit like a standard photo card. Um, it's a little tight though, so I'll show you. Like, it's like a little tight, but it's meant to fit it like exactly for the sleeve. Um, I only use these for my A5 binder. So, um, yeah, I found all of these sleeves, by the way, on Amazon. So that's where I get a lot of my, uh, <laughs> my supplies is Amazon. <laughs> um, so I'm going to move these out of the way for a sec. The next type of sleeves that I use are these sparkly shattered glass sh sleeves. I got them off of Amazon. They were cheap. <laughs> um, so I want to buy from a different place, but um, I'm just not sure. I'm really particular about my sleeves because I want something to be like thick and sturdy um, that I don't have to double sleeve, but I do double sleeve anyway. Um, so 
you'll see this is what a card looks like. I tend to double sleeve with the shattered glasses just because I don't trust it and I'd rather have something doubly protected rather than something that's going to get warped in my binder. So this is a sneak peek. Um, but yeah, I got these from Amazon. They're really nice. Um, I got the same brand that I used last time. So um, it's better to stick with which ones you used before. These are slightly different, which I'm kind of upset about, but <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> well, um, obviously, to, like I'm, I don't have one with me at the moment. I don't want to pull it out. But um, obviously, to start a collection, you're going to need a binder. Um, binders that suit your fancy. Basically, I like to use the um, regular binders from Avery, especially the ones that you can just like pull down the tab and you don't have to like like rip open the um, binder. But I know a lot of people will prefer A5 uh, A5 binders like this one. Um, this is my Beyond D binder. Um, and I do have like the sleeves that came with it and the papers that I bought to um, match it out. But um, it's really whatever suits your fancy. If you prefer bigger binders, I say go for it. If you prefer the tiny binders like the A5 binder or a collect book, I say do it. Um, but <laughs> I'm not going to judge you based on what kind of binder you have. So, um, so yeah, um, I think that's everything that I have to share with my knowledge on the, the collecting community. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I went on for way too long here. Um, and I will see you guys soon in another video, I guess. Bye.